What's up guys, Zab here, and before we really officially get underway with this video, I want to say a couple of things real quick at the top of this uh, episode here. First, uh, if you do enjoy this video at the end, please do hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe uh, for much, much more. Also, another thing, feel free to sauce Austin Lotz, the real Austin Lotz, a follow on Twitter. His Twitter handle is at Lotzy30. Uh, he is the goaltender that I will be reviewing in this upcoming episode you're going to see in a minute or two. And uh, also, I just had this crazy idea in the middle of editing this video that you're going to be watching here. I had a crazy idea. You know those goalie battles that uh, people post on YouTube here, basically, if you don't know? Uh, you just play an NHL 4 14 game play is your favorite teams. You both control only the goalie and none of the players, and uh, whoever wins takes uh, bragging rights. Well, I had this crazy idea that, you know, how crazy and cool would it be to play a real WHL goaltender in a goalie battle? So, Austin Lots, I'm putting the challenge out to you, buddy. Uh, if you do watch this video, I know I'll be tweeting a link to this video. Uh, all you people watching, feel free to tweet a link. And uh, if you want to play a quick game, if you or any of your teammates, friends, whoever, wherever you are right now, if anyone has an Xbox and a copy of NHL 14, hit me up on Xbox at Zab97 or uh, hit me up here on Twitter at Zab Productions. You could DM me, tweet at me, whatever you want to do. And uh, the challenge is out there, and the challenge will stand. Uh, for quite some time there so hope uh, hopefully I hear from you soon Austin and I guess I'll talk to you then hopefully so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, let's go ahead and get underway with it how's it going everybody Zab here and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel it's going to be hopefully a weekly NHL 14 a goalie review basically I get this question on whether it be on YouTube Twitter or on Xbox. I get this question all the time. It's what are the best goaltenders in Hut? Um, you know, what are some really good goaltenders that go for really cheap? It's a question that I get asked probably more than any other. And uh, it's a question that I've even wondered from time to time, and I don't necessarily have the answer for it. And so basically what this series is, is let's just go through the premise of it here. I'm going to let you guys pick a goaltender every single week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play 10 games with that goaltender. Uh, if it's a lower rated goaltender, if it's a WHL goaltender or, you know, an AHL goaltender, basically any goaltender that's not necessarily a high rated NHL goaltender, I'm going to boost them up to the highest capacity. I'm going to play them for only 10 games games all of them for only 10 games at the end of that 10 games I'm going to record all of them uh, clip it up show you all their or some of their really good saves some of the weak goals kind of give you my honest review um, their pros their cons I'm going to write down all the stats all the scores to the games uh, their goals against average shots faced goals allowed uh, goals against all that good stuff and at the end I'm going to put that up on the screen and I'm going to give them a final uh, grade it's going to be a normal kind of like schooling grade basically um, lowest is an F highest is an A plus and so Let's go ahead and get into our very first goaltender. It's going to be Austin Lotz. All right, here he is, Austin Lotz. He is six foot nothing, weighs 200 pounds, plays in the WHL for the Everett Silvertips. This player goes for no more than 600 pucks. Uh, when I looked, there was no more than three of them on the market. I think he has 14 training slots. I used seven of them to get him to 99 down the board. And uh, so he's going to cost you a little bit of a pretty penny by the time you buy all the plus five alls in the 15 duration. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the way he played. And I'll go ahead and tell you if he was worth it at the end of the day, at the end of the video. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the very first game that he played on my team, kind of dissect how he played, kind of go through the pros, the cons, the ups, the downs, the positives, the negatives, what I like, what I didn't like, and all that good stuff. So in here, first period, first game, first shot on goal, first uh, shot faced, and it was luckily his first save not a goal that would have been a bad time this was a good time uh, good save right there blocker save uh, I noticed throughout the whole entire uh, experiment if that's what you want to call it uh, I noticed that his blocker was probably his strong uh, his strong his strong suit excuse me his uh, strongest attribute uh, his glove maybe not so much here uh, you're gonna see the very first goal scored on him Joe Thornton around the back of the net passes it out to Duchesne and in the back of the net it would go um, that's kind of a goal that, you know what, that's going to be scored nine times out of ten. Uh, you see my defense kind of just hanging around, having a party, talking to each other, not too sure what they were doing. Um, probably shouldn't have had that pass uh, made its way through to Duchesne, but, uh, you know, again, that's a goal that's going to be scored nine times out of ten, so I can't necessarily blame him for that. Um, another goal you're going to be seeing is a goal 
basically a two on none. I don't know what my defense was doing, but uh, a one timer and in the back of the net it would go again. Kind of a goal that's going to happen nine times out of ten, no matter if you have a Austin Lots on net or you have Jonathan Quick. Kind of just a goal that's going to happen. All right, here's some more blocker saves. Uh, looking at some more saves here. Great save. Cuts in kind of like the Duchesne earlier, but this time makes the save. Uh, coughed it up right to Gretzky. Horrible pass by me, but uh, this is going to end up in the back of the net. Duchesne seems like he was Austin Lotz's uh, kryptonite throughout this whole entire thing. Uh, in the back of the net, very common goal where you cut through uh, towards the slot and snipe it. Kind of a goal that happens again a lot in NHL 14. I noticed that Austin Lotz was kind of far back in his net a little bit, um, in my opinion, but... Uh, you know, right here, very aggressive goaltender, and you're going to see that more and more as this uh, as this video rolls on out here. Very aggressive goaltender, and uh, that would pretty much do it for the game. We did end up scoring another goal, so we did win um, four to three. And I think this was a very good first game for Austin Lots because uh, it was a very very even game. You're going to see at the end here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at all the individual stats, and you're going to end up seeing that shots were exactly tied, 20 to 20 hits. 23 to 19 and time on attack was just about dead even um, and I think this is a really good comparison for Austin Lotz very good uh, he went head-to-head -head against Pekka Rene one of the top tier goaltenders in NHL 14 and uh, one of the more popular goaltenders in Hut because he is so tall so big and covers uh, you know a whole lot of that net and uh, you see we scored one more goal on uh, Pekka Rene than they scored on Austin Lotz and it was the same exact shots on goal and honestly I think he might have outplayed me a little bit as far as quality of shots goes so uh, pretty happy with Austin Lots there and let's go ahead and go into all the cons all the things I didn't like about Austin Lots. all right on to some of the cons here obviously you see these goals being scored right here by Jamie Ben kind of a weak goal a little bit that was probably one of the weakest goals that he let in um, a backhand forehand or a forehand backhand, a very common move in NHL 14. Some might uh, regard it as a glitch goal, um, but a very weird goal. That was the only one that he really let in that kind of was a little bit weak, like I said before, but Jamie Ben there with a snipe. Um, I found that uh, as far as negatives and cons go for Austin Lots, there weren't too many cons. I just noticed that if you wanted to score a goal on this guy, uh, you know, you're going to have to score top shelf It's or get a moving laterally. He was kind of like, uh, if I had to compare him against a real-life goaltender in the NHL, uh, I'd have to compare him to like a Jonathan Quick uh, type of player. He's kind of down low, um, kind of just uh, gobbles up everything that comes near him. Um, and if you, if you want to beat him, you're going to have to beat him moving, like I said, move him laterally from left to right off the post um, or... Uh, beat him top shelf, beat him gloves. I know his glove was a little bit uh, weak. I've noticed that for sure. His blocker, his blocker was just like a magnet, and the the puck just went right to it every single time. It's mainly that glove uh, that I noticed was pretty weak. Out of all the goals that were scored, uh, like a, you know, most of them were up top shelf, um, up on that top shelf there, top corner, uh, mainly glove side. I noticed uh, as far as strong suits go, as strong as far as uh, pros and positives go, obviously that blocker. Um, another thing, since he is kind of like a Jonathan Quick type of player, um, very down low there. If the puck is anywhere near his reaching vicinity, you're going to see it a couple times in here. Uh, he'll just jump out and just grab the puck. He's very aggressive once the, the puck gets anywhere near him. He just attacks you and attacks the puck to get it under the glove. Um, also, another thing I noticed that I really liked about him, he was very good at playing the puck. Usually that's a quality in goaltenders that you don't necessarily notice. Um... You know, a lot of times, a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this. A lot of times, uh, you're going to get the puck dumped into your own zone, and uh, you're going to have to... Uh get it on the end of your stick and sometimes it takes an extra second to kind of get it off your stick you know it kind of just sticks there for an extra second Austin Lotz I noticed right when he got it he flicked it right out of the zone instantly and I really like to see that and uh, just kind of going over his uh, his final final stats and all the the scores to the games that he played all 10 of them right here uh, game one was a win for him a 4-3 win game two a 5-2 win game three a 2-5 loss uh, game Four was his very first shutout, an eight nothing shutout, a very good game right there. Uh, game five, a one four loss. Uh, game six, six two loss. Game seven, one nothing shutout win. Game eight, a seven four win. Game nine, a three two overtime win. He was very clutch, making the saves that he had to make there. Uh, in game ten, unfortunately, lost that zero to three. We did not end up uh, playing a eleventh game technically, but the EA servers went out, and uh, so that didn't count against him. So he still technically has uh, ten games played uh, for him right now. 
All right, here, games played 10. He is 6-4, so 6 wins, 4 losses. Goals against average of 2.83 and a save percentage of 81.6%. Goals for 33. This is for my team here. Goals for 33. Goals against 29 on 152 shots faced. Uh, so not too bad. Um, I'm going to give him a final grade of a C+. Plus. Uh, maybe I would even give him maybe a little bit of a, a B-. minus. He was very good. I noticed you know, most of the goals, if you look at I looked at every single goal that was scored, and most of them, honestly, I think that you would blame my defense more than my goaltender. Uh, a lot of the, the goals were just great go uh, goals scored by the player um, on the other team. It was kind of just, you know, the backhand, forehand. A lot of those, well, what a lot of people would consider glitch goals. Um, but, you know, overall, I think it was really good. I think he's going to excel on a division maybe five uh, for maybe even a Division two team. It just really depends on how your defense is. If you're very good at playing defense, I think this is going to be a goaltender that could do very, very well on your team. And he's only, uh, you know, 600 pucks or so. So, hey, if you have a couple of uh, plus five alls sitting around a 15 duration, feel free to go ahead and try, and out, try them out. And I'd love to hear your guys' experiences with them in the comment section down below. Um, but that's going to do it for me, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit it with a big thumbs up. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Zab Productions. A link will be in the description down below, as always. Uh, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time.